Welcome, friends and fellow collectors. You have joined me for another edition of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays, brought to you by my friends at SmallScaleHobbies.com. You guys know the deal. Visit their website for all of your scale military model needs. On this week's edition of Military Mondays, we are going to learn about and take a look at a model of the Oshkosh M8TV. So, learning a little bit about the real vehicle before we take a look at the model. So, the MATV, again, is another one of those funny military acronyms, which stand for the MRAP All-Terrain Vehicle. Now, MRAP is another acronym all to itself, which is a mine-resistant, ambush-protected vehicle. Um, really, all you need to know is this vehicle and the, the JLTVs, everything that's come out of... Um, the war in Afghanistan and the subsequent war in Iraq and everything else was a result of the IED attacks and all of our light-skinned armored vehicles, such as the Humvees, that were taking a hell of a beating over there. And there was an outcry that we need better armored vehicles so that our troops can get around. So this was one of the solutions that Oshkosh pushed forward, and it is still in frontline service today. The Department of Defense actually pushed for this truck as far back as uh, the summer of 2008. They entered service with the United States Army in 2009 in Afghanistan first, and then very shortly thereafter in Iraq. They saw service all over the world, including Syria, uh, the Horn of Africa, and various other places in addition to Iraq and Afghanistan. So, what makes this truck safer than an up-armored Humvee, you say? Well, because it's an MRAP vehicle, it does have the V-shaped hull, so if it should hit a mine or an improvised explosive device, an IED, the way that these vehicles' hulls are designed is the blast gets absorbed there instead of in the engine or into the, the crew compartment. So a lot of the damage takes place there, or it'll rip off a wheel or a suspension piece instead of, again, detonating into the vital crew compartment. So that's the biggest selling point and aspect of these vehicles, and of course they do have a higher degree uh, and higher percentile of survivability and armor against small rounds, like AK-47 7.62 rounds, for example, um, and a higher survivability if you get hit with an RPG. Not saying that it's completely RPG resistant, because they aren't, but in military terms, it's a higher survivability factor um, than if you were in a soft skin Humvee. So, it's powered by a Caterpillar 7.2 liter inline 6 turbo diesel engine, which per, which puts out 370 horsepower. It takes a crew of four plus one gunner to operate this truck. Now, you may think to yourself, well, the gunner doesn't really have a whole lot of protection on top of this truck, and you're absolutely right, because this one is outfitted with the Crows, get ready for another acronym, Crows 2 operating system, specifically the M153 Crows 2 operating system. Crows stands for... Common Remote Operating Weapon Station. So let's say that you need to engage a bunch of heavily armed assholes that are shooting at you and are trying to kill you, but uh, you really don't want to put yourself in danger to exit the vehicle, uh, engage those people that are shooting at you, and potentially put yourself in danger and you don't really have a lot of cover. Well, that's really where the Crows 2 system comes into its own. This is actually a remote operated weapon system, so it's RC, basically, on steroids. You can engage the threat from the safety of inside your truck or vehicle. Um, so the Crows system and the subsequent Crows 2 system has been very, very successful. Um, so that's what this part of the model is depicting. I believe this one is outfitted with an M240 Bravo machine gun, but you can also put in the real world, you can put a Mark 19 on here, you can put a 50 cal on here, you can put an M249 on here. Uh, really, any crew served weapon you can safely put on top of this truck uh i think that's about it for the real vehicle again crew of four plus one gunner there are many different variations i probably should point this out there are many different variations of the matvs as you would expect it's a military truck of course there's a million different variations this is more of just your standard first generation matv where um you got a crew compartment in the back meant to transport people. You do have medical versions, you do have uh, engineering vehicles, um, special operations versions, of course. But this one, if it was actually true to being exact as I could get it, 
this actually, this area back here, this square would be cut out and this would be see-through as it would be on the other side. But as we'll get into when I start talking about the actual build of this model, uh, by the time I got there, I was kind of already done with this kit. But again, we'll get there. So on to the model now. Uh, this is an Arsenal M resin model kit, which you do have to fully build, fully prep, fully sand, all that fun stuff that you have to do with resin, wash, soap and water, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, the item number is 1142005111. This kit is no longer made, but there are, lucky for you, as of the filming of this video, still some available on the Small Scale Hobbies website. All you need to do is check out the link that I have helpfully provided in the video's description. So all you need to do if you want one of these is click on it. At the time of this video's publication, they do retail for $33.99 US. $33.99. Not too bad of value if uh, if you want to add one or a couple of these, depending on what you need them for. All right. Story behind this. Building this, Arsenal M kits are kind of, they're kind of like Trident kits. They're hit or miss. Either they're very enjoyable to build, or the quality of the kit is not great, and they can be an absolute nightmare to build. So in my opinion, and in my experience with this one in particular, um, there were a lot of fit and finish and tolerance issues. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually had to cut down the back of the cab to get it to confine and fit on the chassis of this truck. I tried to hide it the best I could, uh, but it, there you could definitely see it for sure. Again, you are supposed to cut this out. I really had no way of cutting that out without completely destroying the model, so I just left it as is. I may decide to black that out with black paint, like I have done to give the illusion that the windows are actually windows. Um, or I may just leave, leave it as is. I don't know. The bumper, you can also put what they call a rhino system on the front, which looks like a black flag that goes straight up or straight out, depending on what you're using it. That is another um, anti-IED device, as is this. This is another one of those fancy... I don't think they're top secret anymore. It's another it's another device used to protect the vehicle from um, enemy weapons. Enemy weapons. So that's what this large thing here is that looks like a, a popsicle on top of a larger popsicle or a hot dog. That's what that is. You got a spare tire here. More things up on top. There's your crow system. I did paint the lights black and then painted the front of them with a chrome pen so it looks like they're actually lights. Um, I, the bumper was fun to do. Again, I had to get a super small paintbrush to paint the par parts that are supposed to be black against the light sand background. That actually turned out better than I could imagine. You can see the mirrors do have, again, that silver paint pen reflective finish to it. You are provided with a spare tire that you can put on the back. Here's your um, running rails or your, your steps. Same thing. Um, and again, the Rhino, I chose not to put on the front of mine. I may at some point, but just know that if you do want that, it does come in the kit. Uh, and I think I think that's about it. I think that leaves us with a complete model review and some information about the real Oshkosh M8TVs. Here is the box that it comes in. Arsenal M, detailed plastic and resin kit, 187 scale. Nothing written down here in the catalog number, but back here it is written um, with the same number I read off to you and then MATV written down there. Again, I did purchase this from Greg and SmallScaleHobbies.com. There will be a link in the bottom of the description. As I said before, if you want to buy this, I am still very new uh, within a year or so of building these model kits, specifically these resin military model kits. So there are much more experienced people out there that probably won't have some of the same struggles that I experienced with this kit and might have a lot more fun than I did. Uh, but overall, with the finished project, of course it could be better. I would do some things differently the next time. But uh, overall, I am relatively pleased with how it turned out. Most importantly, thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, be well, take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.